वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी हैव ब्रॉट यू एन अनदर मल्टी बैगर स्टॉक दिस टाइम इट इज़ लिटिल बिट डिफरेंट इन दिस स्टॉक वी कंसिडर एज अ ट्रेडिंग आइडिया एंड द स्टॉक नेम इज एज डायमीस एंड केमिकल्स लिमिटेड इट इज़ एन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्ले इन द केमिकल सेक्टर्स नावर स्टैंडर्ड डिस्क्लेमर Uh, this presentation or video has been prepared only for study purposes. If you want to invest in this stock, uh, we would request you to consult a SEBI registered investment advisor. Will not be responsible for any profit and loss made in this stock. Now, Diamines and Chemicals Limited. Uh, what what is this stock? So. Uh, this company was incorporated in uh, year nineteen seventy six, and they manufacture ethylamines. And they are the only one manufacturer in India who is manufacturing ethylamines. And if you see globally, there are uh, one of the six to eight companies who have proprietary technology for the manufacture of ethylene amines. Basically, this is a very strong moat for the company because. they are manufacturing a product uh, which nobody else does in india so the company has uh, also diversified into two more projects uh, with uh, piperazine and hydrus and piperazine 68% and has become the only domestic supplier of piperazine to basically and piperazine is used in pharmaceutical agrochemical lubricants field additives and water treatment chemicals limited uh, water chemicals etc this uh, the company's plant is located in baroda and is uh, one of the leading business centers in western part of india now coming on to financial results of diamines and chemicals uh, limited if you see uh, one thing which is very prominent in the company is that the the margins are going up uh, which we are going to see in next slide as well and uh, for if you see the last 3 4 quarters the top line is going up and uh, as well as the margin is going up the company is almost debt free and uh, see, let's move to the year yearly financials the only one concern which we have is like uh, the top line is uh, pretty much constant like if you see in year 2010 it was 45 crores and now in march 2019 it is 47 crores the top line has remained same uh, which is a big negative for the company however the profit margins uh, which were in the range of 15 20% have now climbed to uh, 40s and um, the company which uh, had some debt uh, over the years had paid off the debt and uh, now company is debt free now coming on to the cash flow if you see the cash flow company is generating a healthy cash flow uh, from the operating activities and uh, what we have seen is company has uh, reduced the debt to near zero and um, what company is doing is company is uh, in, uh, investing the amount in more products from from the cash flow generating from the operating activity going on to the next slide now updates basically uh, what the company is saying in their annual report is that ethylene amines business is going through a demand supply imbalance and some excess supply is ex uh, expected so what company is trying to do like their edc plant which have remained idle for considerable period of time the company has identified three new products which can be manufactured to edc plant so what now they are focusing on activities related to plant overall and making the plant operational for the three products identified now coming to the pros and cons of the company the company is consistently paying dividends and except for the year 2014 to 16 where the profits have dwindled and was negligible the current dividend yield is around 1.6% the promoter holding is quite good which is around 65% company also owns windmills the capacity of windmills is around 3.65 megawatt and some of the electricity is used in house as well the Uh, operating margin 
of the company over the years have increased from 15 to 20% to now in 40s. Now, the cons of the company is the company is dependent on uh, raw, uh, raw material, which is a, a dependent on crude prices. So volatility in crude prices can hurt company's margin. And the other thing which we discussed is the top line of the company has remained stable. Stable in the sense like it has gone down and it has came up at the same level which was uh, 10 years back. Now coming on the final verdict on the company, Diamines and Chemicals Limited is available at a price of around 125 rupees. The P ratio of the company is around 8 and the market cap of the company is 122 crores. The company shares are quite illiquid. On occasional days the volume is okay but uh, the volume is very less if you want to take a big position then it is nearly impossible to have a big position on one day the historically if you see the company shares have traded on a p of 30 to 40 which is which justifies the mode because they they are the only one company who is manufacturing the chemical in india ethylamines the company is debt free and company has around 20 crores in fixed deposits so other income which you see in the results is coming from the interest of those fixed deposits. Company has uh, paid a higher tax of 35% in the, during uh, in the September quarterly results. We expect that it would reduce after the latest government in announcements. The other thing is um, we are a bit concerned about the top line not being growing. So uh, we think that it should be played as a momentum stock. Uh, and uh, we in like uh, the chemical sector is in flavor and everybody like market is liking the chemical sector and it expects that the chemical sector will give good returns in in next uh, two to three years time so we should play this stock uh, as a theme where it can give us returns in the form of pe expansion so uh, the price may go for this stock may go up to 500 based on PE of 30 approximately 3x opportunity from 2 years perspective uh, one thing should be noted that this stock should be traded as a trading idea and not as an investment stock so friends if you liked my video then you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link below the blue colored arrow thank you and See you next time. Bye-bye.